What's going on here? Definitely never seen a cop pull over an accessory before. These vans here, it's public transportation for disabled people, which is a great thing, but their drivers are the worst, the most dangerous, the least respectful of laws and cyclists and other drivers of any drivers in the city. They make cab drivers look like saints. I think I heard the cops say that that guy just ran a red light. <laughs> I just need to quickly run into the office here. Okay, quickly running in the office. There you go. That felt good. I'll see you soon, Colin. Leaving the office now. What type of board is it? It's a boosted board. What, you, what does it do? We are about to see. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Oh! Gotta go get the car now. Almost at the garage. I'm at the car now. I'm in the car. I am driving out to Greenwich, Connecticut to go to the Greenwich Country Day School, which is like a preschool through high school kind of school. I had dinner with the headmaster there like a year ago. Great guy. So they asked me to come out and talk today. Totally psyched to do it. Traffic. I am now in the state of Connecticut. This is Greenwich, Connecticut. Look at these houses, my god. Uh, fancy, fancy. And I I think this is the school. Do not enter. Yeah, this is the place. All right, headed in now. Don't know how much filming I'm gonna do in there. Schools tend to get really uh, ee about filming inside. I'll let you know how it went though. I think this is what I'm talking at. A sixth grade conference. <laughs> Two hours later. Just finished my talk. You can in the vlog. Yes, you can be in the vlog. Bye guys. I don't know when the last time I spoke to like sixth graders, what is that, 12 years old sixth graders was? But that was great. It was really great. I was like a little stressed out about coming out here, but I'm really glad I did. He gave me this sweet bag. And I will say for a group of for a group of 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, the kids in there were extremely articulate and had like a million questions. You know, I do a lot of public speaking at colleges and I do public speaking at corporate events and and all kinds of academic institutions and things like that and there's always like such hesitation when it comes to asking me questions and when I turned to the audience in there again all sixth graders and I said does anybody have any questions 50 kids raised their hands like they all had questions and when the teacher finally said we only have time for two more questions everyone went aww in the city. Thank you. That's straight shot.
shot down Broadway is the fastest, scariest, most fun luge through all of Manhattan. And I'm back. Did I miss anything important? I burned my finger so bad right there. What were you saying about the smell? It's hard to concentrate when the whole office smells like grilled cheese. I see what you mean, John. We got a mean batch here. We are doing grilled cheese day again today. I'm cooking, John's consuming. I'm doing a great job. You know, I tried a new cooking method today. So good. Oh my God. So good. It is so good. John's taking over as sous chef. How's it going? It's going well. Miguel's working out. Okay, bada bing. All right guys, let's get this meeting started. That is two loaves worth of bread right there. Jack, are you washing down your grilled cheese with muscle milk? Well, no, lemonade actually. The muscle milk is, that, right? is not for washing down, it's for getting huge. Alright, let's get into this. See you tomorrow. I have a bit of an admission to make. Um, my running partner, Lindsay, has been injured. And I've been using that as my excuse not to run. So my training, which has been going really well, is now terrible. And my diet, which has been going really well, is now like back to Oreos and junk food. I don't have an excuse. I need to get back to it. I think tomorrow is going to be the day. No more junk food starting tomorrow. We're out here having some team meetings with this guy and this guy. And in this tree is a hawk in Lower Manhattan. Look at this. That's a hawk. Those are sneakers. I wonder if he always lives here. There are a lot of squirrels. 